how to find your Gemini wallet address on the Gemini app. In this quick video, I will show you how to find your Gemini wallet address on the Gemini app. If you're looking to receive crypto on Gemini, then you will need your wallet address and it's critical to pick the correct wallet address because if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. As always, nothing in this video is financial advice and I accept no liability for you losing or sending your crypto to the wrong address. And if in doubt, send a small test amount of crypto first. So to find your wallet address on the Gemini app, you want to click on your profile in the top right. Then you want to select receive and then you want to pick the crypto that you plan to deposit by either searching or scrolling. I'm going to pick Teva or what's also called USDT. Cryptocurrencies can normally be sent and received on multiple networks, but every crypto I selected on Gemini looked like it could only be received on one network. So when you select your crypto, it will say which network you must send your crypto on. So in this case for USDT, it's saying I must deposit via the Ethereum network. Once you understand that depositing assets on the wrong network may lead to lost funds, you can press I understand. And now you will see the wallet address for this specific crypto and network. You can copy with the button to the right of the address that looks like two sheets of paper, or you can scan the QR code. Alternatively, you can share this address by pressing the share button at the bottom. If you change cryptos, for example, if I change to Bitcoin, you will see a different QR code and wallet address. If you're transferring crypto for the first time, it's always recommended to send a small test amount of crypto first, and it's always worth copying the address or scanning the QR code rather than typing it manually. Anyway, if you got any value from this video, then please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe as I upload new finance and crypto related content every week. And if you're just getting started with crypto, you may be wondering what's the difference between a coin and a token. So I recommend watching this video next. It's been Ollie from Get Geek Finance. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.